name's Bond. James Bond. Well, I personally can't think of a better reason to invest in home theater tech than to watch a Bond movie. So it's kind of fitting that here at CES 2012, MGM, in conjunction with Panasonic, is announcing that all 22 Bonds are now available on Blu-ray. This also gave me the chance to catch up with three Bond directors, John Glenn, Michael Apted, and Martin Campbell, to talk about the role of technology behind the camera and on the screen in the Bond series. Message received. We are waiting. Over and out. Working with a 50-year, 22-film franchise like 007 has availed these directors of the latest and the best technology. Some of their thoughts on where that's worked and hasn't, then and now. Michael Apted was director of The World Is Not Enough. But, uh, in some ways, I was always of the opinion, and still of the opinion, that doing a Bond, you have to be very careful how you use technology. We were still very much in the realm of you know, creating real things and real special effects. You know, if you let the CGI get out of control, as, as it has in you know, other franchises, probably for very good reasons, I think Bond is in a danger of losing that kind of core reality to it. Martin Campbell directed in two Bond eras, GoldenEye with Pierce Brosnan and the most recent version of Casino Royale with Daniel Craig. I never really cringe at anything when I look at um, Blu-ray because uh, it's so fantastic when you see it come up. You sort of, it, it, there's always just a slight kind of gasp or reaction at just how good, how good it looks. You know, if you look at some of the old movies, for example, that have gone on Blu-ray and stuff, you'll see all sorts of like uh, makeup lines, you'll see, you'll see um, matte lines, you'll see all sorts of things. So you just got to be a little bit careful about that. John Glenn directed five Bond films, from For Your Eyes Only to License to Kill. We were always trying to improve the quality of, of, the, of the image. And uh, with, uh, exactly our theory was that you know, if, it's, if it's poorly photographed, then when you, tr when you uh, reproduce it, if you make a dupe negative, which you have to for the release prints, then the quality goes down in an ever-decreasing uh, curve. Whereas if the quality is great, then it reproduces very well. I think the Blu-ray is uh, obviously the thing, uh, the, the medium that's going to take over. And, uh, you know, good luck to it. I think it, it reproduces our films very well, and it shows the whole, the whole um, picture that we photographed, and it does justice to what we did, all the, all the skills that went into it.